With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's solve the question. The question says, a particle of mass 5 into 10 raised to minus 6 gram is kept over a large horizontal sheet of charge density 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb per meter square. What charge should be given to this particle so that if released it does not fall? So we are asked to find out how much charge should be given to this particle. So let's solve first part A. So what we are given? We are given a charge sheet and it is our particle of mass. Its mass is given to us. Its mass is m is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 6 gram. We can write it in terms of kilogram. So we will write 10 raised to minus 9 kilogram. And, and charge density of this sheet also is given to us. So what is value of sigma? Which is the charge density? It is 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb per meter square. And we are asked to find out the charge on particle so that this particle does not fall. So let's suppose that it is our charge sheet. Electric field due to this charge sheet is in the upward direction like this. And particle of mass is here. There are two kinds of forces acting on this particle. First is gravitational force which is downward. It is equal to mg. And another is electrostatic force which is q into e. So these two forces must be balanced if the particle does not fall. So we need to balance these two forces. So how do we do that? So we will write force due to electric field generated by this charge sheet is equal to QE is equal to what is the force of gravitation? It is mg where g is the gravitational acceleration and E is the electric field. We all know that electric field due to a charge sheet is represented by sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. Epsilon value is free permittivity in free space. Sigma is the charge density on the sheet. So we can calculate it. So it will give us 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 which is the charge density it is given to us divided by 2 epsilon. Epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12. So this will be our electric field. So now we can put this value into equation and we will write Q multiplied by E which is this value. We will write 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 2 into 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12 is equal to mg. What is the mass of particle? It is given to us which is 5 into 10 raised to minus 9 kg multiplied by gravitational acceleration which is 10 meter per second square. So you can easily calculate charge value from this equation. So Q value will be 5 into 10 raised to minus 9 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 into 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12 divided by 4 into 10 raised to minus 6. So this will give us final answer. So final answer will be 2.21 into 10 raised to minus 30 coulomb. So this will be the charge that should be on the particle if particle does not fall. Now let's further read the question. How many electrons are to be removed to give this charge? So how, how many electrons should be removed from the particle? So we know that charge on one electron, charge on one electron is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb and charge on the particle is 2.21 into 10 raised to minus 13 coulomb. So you can easily calculate how much electron should be removed 
from the particle so that we can get q charge so number of electrons will be total charge which is q divided by charge on one electron so we can put values here it will give us 2.21 into 10 raised to minus 13 coulomb divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb so now it will give us final answer so our final answer is 1.38 into 10 raised to 6 electrons so this much electrons should be removed from the particle so that he can so that particle can get 2.21 into 10 raised to minus 13 coulomb charge let's further read the question how much mass is decreased due to the removal of these electrons so suppose that it is our particle we have removed electrons how many it is 1.38 into 10 raised to minus 10 raised to 6 electrons so we have how much mass we have removed so one electron one electron mass is equal to 9.1 into 10 this to minus 31 kg and what is the mass of particle mass of particle it is given to us in the question it is 5 into 10 this to minus 9 kg So, if we are removing 1.38 into 10 raised to 6 electrons, then we have decreased particle's mass by decreased particle's mass. So, let us call it m dash. We will write we have decreased particle's mass by number of electrons multiplied by mass of electron so we can solve this we will get how many electrons we have removed it is 1.38 into 10 raised to 6 multiplied by what is the mass of electron it is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg so we can easily calculate this and we will get our final answer so after calculating this we will get 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 24 kg this much mass we have removed from the particle thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today